So we're officially 100 days until Halloween. So counting down until Halloween, I'm going to post every day a review and some facts about a horror movie. So I recently watched the 1931 film Dracula. There is a famous line from this film that says, listen to them, children of the night, what music they make. And it was voted as number 83 in the movie quotes of the American Film Institute out of 100. It's such a creepy line and hearing his delivery of it as well is terrifying. The spider web used in Dracula's castle that you can see behind in this photo as well was actually created by shooting rubber cement from a rotary gun. I love all the practical effects and all the things they had to do before we had the advances of CGI. Dracula's castle was a painting on glass in front of the camera. I don't know if you've seen any of those like old Disney videos where they show kind of how they did that animation and stuff like that, but something similar along those lines. And then the coach traveling along the road was real, but the background was not. The actor Dwight Fry, after playing Renfield, was a major part in this film. He would find himself being typecast, you know, restricted to playing very eccentric and jittery characters who had kind of this manic and, you know, lunatic edge to them. He did an amazing job, but I could definitely see why he would be typecast that way. Apparently there was a Spanish language version of Dracula, which filmed at night on the same set at the same time with Spanish speaking actors. Dracula, played by Bela Lugosi, famously never blinks his eyes, not once through the entire film, an effect that enhances his character's, you know, feeling of being not alive and this kind of otherworldly feel to him and, you know, just creates this very menacing stare as he's just literally staring you down. It's so creepy, it's such a subtle thing, but so well done. And there is no real musical soundtrack to this film, as obviously sound, you know, in films was just coming out. If it was a silent film, typically they would have had an orchestra playing like a live orchestra in the movie theater. But with sound being such a recent innovation in film, they were worried that the audience wouldn't accept hearing music in a scene if there was no explanation for it. Like the only scene that we have music in for this is when they go to the opera because they're at the theater so obviously there would be music playing but the concept of having music is just kind of this background you know to build suspense and build tension was still new and they didn't want to risk the audience not accepting that so let me know in the comments if you've seen this what your thoughts are i really enjoyed it i'm slowly working through the rest of the many dracula films but yeah i'm very curious to learn more about the behind the scenes and you can check out my reaction to this video on my youtube channel as well